Example, evaluate Laplace of e to the minus 2x times x times cos 5x. Look to the function f of x, which is the product of three elementary functions, exponential function, algebraic function, and trigonometric function. So let me find the Laplace of the product of three elementary functions. Solution. First function times second function times third function. Let me do the Laplace process individually for all the three subfunctions. First, I'm going to take cos 5x. Laplace of cos 5x equals to a or a squared plus 5 square. I apply the fourth elementary condition here, where my constant a is 5, which equals to a or a squared plus 25. Now I'm going to take the Laplace of x times cos 5x. I ignore the exponential function e to the minus 2x. I'm going to find the combined Laplace of x times cos 5x. You must know how to find the Laplace of x times cos 5x because we have already done. Equals to minus 1 times d or ds of a or a squared plus 25. I applied this formula here which is Laplace of x times cos ax equals to minus 1 to the n times d or a to the n of f of s. This is my left hand side which is x cos 5x and my f of s is a or a squared plus 25 which is the Laplace of cos 5x, which I have already derived. So the derivative of s or a squared plus 25 with respect to s equals to a squared plus 25 times 1 minus s times 2s or a squared plus 25 to the whole square. I apply this formula here d or dx of u over v, which equals to v du or dx minus u dv or dx over v square. Just apply this formula. Simplify the equation which equals to a squared minus 25 or a squared plus 25 to the whole square. Just put it here. So the Laplace of x times cos 5x equals to a squared minus 25 or a squared plus 25 to the whole square. Now pick the exponential function e to the minus 2x. Laplace of e to the minus 2x equals to 1 or a minus times minus 2. I apply the second elementary condition here which is Laplace of e to the ax equals to 1 over s minus a. My constant a is minus 2 here. It equals to 1 over s plus 2 because minus times minus is plus. So this is the final value for e to the minus 2x. Now pick s plus 2 and substitute it for a square at both numerator and denominator of the above equation. When you do substitution you will get the final value s plus 2 to the whole square minus 25 or s plus 2 to the whole square plus 25 to the whole square. What I did here, I substitute s plus 2 for a square at both places. And I got this final value. This is my final value for the given function, which is the product of three subfunctions.